Good morning, Craig Hagen here from Coax Training. If you enrol yourself onto one of our high voltage courses, um, one of the subjects that we will cover is high voltage protection systems. With high voltage protection, um, if you have not been involved in this part of the industry before, is a little bit different in functionality as, as, as compared to protection on a low voltage circuit in say, maybe a domestic dwelling or, or an office block. Primarily, the miniature circuit breakers in your switchboard at home uh, are all self-contained and the trip curves of those circuit breakers uh, are predetermined. When you start dealing with high voltage systems such as circuit breakers like this, the circuit breakers are controlled mainly from a protection relay. The job of the protection relay is to monitor the circuit downstream of the circuit breaker through the use of current transformers and voltage transformers. The current transformers are an important component as this gives, a, gives feedback to the protection relay, showing the relay the amount of current flowing. And if there is an overcurrent, the program inside the protection relay can act accordingly. If there is a short circuit or an earth fault, the, uh, the, the current transformers downstream will pick that up. And again, that feedback through the protection relay so the protection relay can detect or, or pick up there's a problem. And if it does not fit within parameters, this particular relay will then speak to the, to the circuit breaker and tell the circuit breaker to trip. The relay itself is quite easy to, uh, to install and remove, as you just saw there. It's solid state. Um, most of the programming on these can be done manually if need be, and you look at and you, and you punch in your uh, parameters via what the engineers have decided. Um, they can be done with software as well and downloaded from a computer. All the small relays inside here are the relays that, that, that uh, control the tripping regime for this particular circuit breaker. So when the CPU in here gets a, um, uh, an out of specification reading, such as an overcurrent, one of these relays will react by sending a signal to the trip coil of the circuit breaker and trip it out just like that to clear the fault. Thanks.